Oh, merciful rain! Oh, and bread. Hey, Heroes Isaac Zephyr here, and oh, glorious rain. But we don't actually have a rain muffler in this one. So I'm not sure why the sound is actually here, nor do I really care. Look at that. Wait, seriously? This one's snow? Okay, let's move this quickly then. We're like borderline on a snowy biome. Or I'm guessing a desert, because there's absolutely no rain in this small area. Huh. Well, interesting fun fact, but who cares? Yay! Rain! Could be why this hasn't grown much. Oh, no, wait, no, I just picked that, didn't I? Speaking of just picking... Ah. Uh, I am sorry that you're gonna have to deal with the sound of rain, but oh, it is so glorious. Do 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 some bread out and let's actually this is a double whammy today not only do we have the rain we so desperately needed for a while but we got our last piece of dirt which should give us enough stone for our furnace so it is a good day it is a very very good day let's put the furnace here okay I can't access the furnace but who cares all right so that's gonna make three. Actually, why, why the hell am I doing that? Just do. I think two makes one, so. And then one makes eight. And eight will make a stack of 64. But in time, for now, oh, glorious rain. Life-giving rain. You'd think I lived in the desert. Pop some dust in here. Clay. Clay. Not full enough yet. Clay. Oh. Beautiful. And with this... Oh yeah, we have to actually break this, don't we? Twelve. I think that's exactly enough. Oh, no, it's a little bit more than we need. Um, I only have one bone meal here, so we're going to have to actually grab the other stack. And seven. And we can pop that like so. And make that, which means... Oh, we get to start the day with another quest complete. Slab furnace. Oh, to hell with you! <sighs> well, at least I have the rest of this to use. Alright, well, I gotta check this out anyway, so how does one make a slab furnace? One, two, that should be funny. Slab furnace. Oh, you just do a furnace out of half slabs. So that would have been nice to know beforehand, but oh well. I guess we'll have to make a slab furnace and put it somewhere. But we got plenty of stuff, so we're fine. We're fine. We have rain. We're fine. Rain is fine. We're fine. We're 
bad. Wait a minute. I'm thinking... I'm thinking... See, I wish I... Let's do it for the regular one. Um... Because... Unlocks one quest, I'm assuming it's going to be steel power. I'm thinking... If... If... We make... The crucible... Then... Oh, sorry. Yeah, we can use the crucible to melt cobble into a lava. And if we make a lava, we can use one of these glorious barrels of water to make a cobblestone generator. And if we make a cobblestone generator, then we wouldn't need to keep using our trees to make dirt. But the question is if, if I cook these early, am I losing quests later? I don't know. The other bit is this needs a fire from what I understand. Uh, might be best to take the safe route on this one and just make the slab furnace. I think. I mean, if I'm wrong, by all accounts, it's fully within your rights to correct me. Let's put those in there for now. Put this clay in here. Um, Put the sand in here, we don't need it for the moment. Put this extra fishing nets. Put this bait in. Put that re re put that rod in. Actually, we should take advantage of this time. Because rain increases fishing chance. Do do do. I mean, I'm not saying we're not still going to need dirt. We got platforms to make and different things to do in that regard, but hey, cool, it landed. But. Um, I'm trying to think of what all I need to make a cobblestone generator that's safe, because most of my stuff's made out of wood right now. Unfortunately, that place doesn't actually rain. Don't think that worked. I think we reeled it too late. Oh, okay. D don't fish in our rain bucket. There's nothing in there. Mm -hmm. Hmm.
Um. Still gotta think this through. Yeah, don't think I have the stuff for that anyway. Curse you, regular furnace. Curse you. And your kids. And your wife. Hide your kids, hide your wife. We need to get back up the six cobble. Okay. That'll work. Thankfully, I don't need to worry about saving our, uh... Saving our bone meal anymore, so we can just use the rest of it. We can also get more from... I think it's sand we have to sift for bone meal. Or dust. No, it's dust we have to sift for bone meal. I wish I had something I could use that water on. Uh, just to not waste, uh, this glorious rain. We don't know when it's gonna rain again. Plus two haste. It's very different than when we last had this axe. I've grown accustomed to this axe. I've grown accustomed to its charm. There's more to that song, but I don't know, because I'm not any sort of music major. Yeah, Alright. Speed this as fast as we can. I kind of want to just fire the bucket so we can at least grab a bucket of water and get another barrel full. I mean, I could always make more dust. Actually, considering that, according to the bit, after we move lava with the clay bucket, it's going to die anyway. Why don't we use that extra clay we got? Oh, no, we don't have enough. Okay. Then let's pound down this sand into dust, turn the dust into clay, turn the clay into clay balls, turn these clay balls into a few more buckets, and then let's fire them up. Because then we can grab and collect some extra water uh, that way while we wait for everything. We need to eat that anyway. Oh. oh. I almost had a heart attack just from that small fall. For the sake of my own safety and having a heart attack, I might want to actually put up some fences or something. <laughs> I'm also going to need to pick a place to actually put a cobblestone generator. Okay. Here we go, nearly enough. Ah, rain. Singing in the rain. Six stone instead of eight. So it would have been nice to know beforehand. Then again, if I had rain, I would have known beforehand. Yeah. 
I guess the disadvantage of not having rain. Rain is so crucial to this. Because even to do... Just hear me out. Even to do clay the other way, wherein you make the, um, when you make the, uh, the, the glass bottles, you wind up with having to make a furnace anyway, so unless you know that that half furnace is a thing, you can't really be prepared for it. Speaking of which, yes, clay buckets full of water. We can use those later. And that lets us fill up and get as much water as we possibly can from this first venture. Because I think this is an infinite water source anyway, but it never hurts to have some extra water buckets laying around. Sift, sift, sift. Or sieve, 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 I guess. Better get the term right, or you're gonna be down my throats. Alright. Let's make some sticks. Let's make two of these. Let's make a couple of these, because we're gonna need them. And let's put this in here. Let's make some more of that. Because we have this furnace, might as well use it. I guess I can't complain at the slab furnace. It's technically a save on resources. I just kind of wish it would show you all the steps of a quest beforehand so that you don't go and make a furnace wasting eight cobble. When you need six to do the quest anyway. I mean, I figured there was going to be something about making a furnace. I was surprised that there wasn't anything. But still. I guess you win some, you lose some. We're gonna run out of bone meal though, having to get more stone. And if we're lucky, we should only need one or two more, so. Okay, not that I'm not dissing the rain, we needed it for a long time, but when is it gonna end? Because <laughs> we don't have that rain muffler wherein it just kills sound. The other bit is if we get a cobblestone generator going, we can start leveling up our pick. Which has a thomic cross there. Oh, there we go. Rain's done. Weather's nice again. When will our next rainstorm be? Hopefully not for a while, but you know. Beggars can't be choosers. Ooh, we have actually we we have enough other food sources now. Let's compost these apples. Because we can always get more apples. Look at that. Three buckets of water. Or barrels of water full to the brim. Ah, it's beautiful. And our sifter. Our Azarin 1 honorary sifter. Ah, it's nice to have weather again. Five. Ah, that silence. Do, do, do. Crook. It's eight saplings. We can technically make another dirt once those apples are done. Ooh. Sweet. Let's upgrade the axe again. Doot. Doot. Awesome. And let's take that down. 
How's this doing? Beautiful. It's not like we can smash dirt into anything, so might as well just turn it all in. Um, yeah, let's make all that into stone. All right, so now let's make this half slab furnace. Six. There. Are you happy, quest book? Are you happy you wasted my time? I'm just going to keep picking the one on the right. I like just picking the one on the right. Useful plum, lemon, dragon fruit, vanilla bean, and walnut. Okay, so... Kind of these. Got a bunch of sapling types. Plum, lemon, dragon bean, walnut. Yeah, there's only five. Alright, so let's put down the slab furnace right on top of the regular furnace because I'm lazy. It's a tinkerer's construct thing. I'm surprised I didn't know about it already. Let's move the regular furnace, I suppose. Actually, can we put the slab furnace on top of the chest? Can it interact with the chest? No. Yeah, well. Alright, so now I'm assuming. If we open up our quest book after that completion. Yeah, there's nothing that's going to stretch from that. But... For the... Where, where, where did that unlock one? I'm smelting, I'm smelting. Dust in the wind. Ah, crud, I needed clay for that. Derp. Well, no time like the present. How much stone do we have left over? One. Live and learn. Live and learn. Well, let's turn it into clay, because we still have the tools to do so. And start gathering clay for that. Alright. Hmm. We got lots of stuff. Our emergency junk. We need some sort of storage area, which we had been working on last time, if I recall. Uh, let's pop some seed down. Perfect. Make some more bread. Bread. Put air on your chest. Um, yeah, put some more dirt in, because we're going to need more cobble still. Let's use this half furnace, see if maybe there's any difference to it. We'll wait for that to smelt, and then we will quickly pop this in and swap it out. So we got the crucible. Okay. Now, was there more in this quest book about this? Need to cook the bucket and crucible and able to use them. A slab furnace is an efficient way of cooking or smelting items. It uses only six. So that, and it unlocked a quest somewhere else. So, let's... Well, we need to sift until we get ancient spores. That's just kind of a generic one. That one, we need more dirt. This one... We need broken ores, which means we need to use gravel for it. Um, I think we're going to try for dust in the wind. It seems like the best option at the moment. So that's not enough stone for us to do what, to get one. So actually, let's put the grass seed in here as well. Our clay bucket. Might as well. No, because I want more clay. Can I just do it this way? Yes, I can. Okay. Cool. So then we'll just fill this one with water from there. It's still an infinite water source. Why wouldn't you remove that? Why would you need buckets then? I guess because they're the only w or you need the barrels to make the um, the clay. Anyway, so this crucible. 
There's nothing on how to use it, but I think I read it up. It requires that I light a fire somewhere. <laughs> which I don't need a flint and steel or lava, which this makes lava. So yeah, we're gonna have to put that away for now. Um, what else can we do? Well, we gotta make stoofs. Nine, 10, okay. How many crooks do we have? Just this one. We're gonna need another. One, two, okay. But I think we've done a major quest and that is good. So I think this should be about where I call the episode. And I'm gonna spend some time getting some saplings and wheat left over, if I can manage it, to get some more dirt. But I think the next thing I want to do, we could obviously get ores if we wanted, um, but I think what I want to do instead, because we're running out of bone meal, we're on our last 13, is we should probably get the mob spawning platforms and whatnot up and functioning, which means we're going to need to keep our dirt as dirt. Uh, yeah, that's probably our best bet. So, until next time, it's going to be Isaac Zephyr signing out. And I will see you all later, heroes.